Let's look at simultaneous equations. Simultaneous means occurring at the same time. When a point belongs to more than one line, the coordinates of the point satisfy all equations. The equations of the lines are called simultaneous equations. There's an example here shown next to it. Here there's two equations, y equals x plus 2 and y equals negative x. Negative x is the red graph, y equals x plus 2 is the blue graph. You can see there's a point there, it's negative 1 comma 1, that is on both lines. That point satisfies both equations. That is, if you put that point into that equation, y equals x plus 2, it will satisfy that one. And if you put that point into this equation, it will satisfy that one as well. I'll talk in a moment what I mean by that. Any two linear graphs will meet at a point unless they are parallel. So unless you've got two lines that are completely parallel, at some stage they will meet. Okay, there'll be a solution to the simultaneous equations. At this point where they meet, the two equations simultaneously share the same x and y coordinates. We refer to this as the solution. It's the intersection of two lines, the point which satisfies both lines, is called the solution. We can find this either graphically or algebraically. That is using graphs like here or using algebra. The first thing we're going to do is check whether uh, this pair of coordinates is the solution to both these simultaneous equations. All right, so what I do here is that I put the uh, x and y coordinate into each equation separately to see if they work out, to see if they satisfy both equations. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I've got the point 5, comma, negative 2. Okay, remember when we've got a point like that, the first number is the x coordinate. And the second number is the y. So I'm going to put that into this first equation. 3x minus 2y equals 19. So in other words, if I put x and y in there, I should get 19. Let's see if I do. So 3 times 5 minus 2 times negative 2. Okay. 3 fives are 15. Sorry, that's times negative 2. Uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And there we go, that equals 19. Okay, so x and y fit in that first equation. Let's look at the second equation. 4y plus x equals negative 3. Okay, so let's put y equals negative 2 in there. Plus x, which is 5. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 plus 5, and negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. So we can see that it checked out for that equation. That is, if we put x equals 5 and y equals negative 2 into here, we get 19, so it checks out. Over here, if we put y equals negative 2 and x equals 5 into that equation, we get negative 3. That checks out as well. Okay. So 5, negative 2 satisfy those both equations. Therefore, it is the solution for those two simultaneous equations. X and Y both fit those equations. Now, I mentioned before that there's two types or two ways in which you can solve simultaneous equations. And one way is graphically. Okay, so here you can see uh, use graphs of the given simultaneous equations to determine the point of intersection and hence the solution of the simultaneous equations. Now I drew both those graphs, it's different ones here, but on a thing called the Desmos graphing calculator. Okay, And uh, it really is handy uh, in this sort of situation. I just drew up the first equation, y equals 2x minus 3. I drew up the second equation, x plus 2y equals 4. There's a bit of a misprint there, that should be a plus. Um, and then I've got the intersection point, which is 2, 1. So the point which satisfies those both, uh, both those equations is 2, 1. So if on a graphing calculator like Desmos, and they're available on your computer, you just uh, Google Desmos graphing calculator, you can draw them up and find that intersection point. Here's another one. x plus y equals 6, and 2x plus 4y equals 20. As you can see on Desmos, I think I've still got this one set up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you just type in the two equations. 
Then you click on the intersection point and you get there, it gives you 2,4. Now I could check, in fact, I can really check very easily in this first equation. See how the solution is 2,4. X is 2, Y is 4, and sure, uh, surely enough, 2 plus 4 equals 6. So it satisfies that equation. In the second equation, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 times 4 is 16, 4 plus 16 equals 20. So it's very easy to see that that point satisfies both equations. So that's a bit of an introduction how to do simultaneous equations graphically. Uh, pretty sure, soon uh, we'll move on to how to do them using a couple of other methods.